Welcome to Live Reading in a Beauty Revolution. I am Lucia Gabriela, and today's topic is going to be about how does healing therapies, such as massage, acupressure, acupuncture, um, cranial sacral, and others, could help you to improve your sexual life. Research shows that 43% of women and 31% of men are suffering from sexual dysfunction. That's a big one. That's a big number to me. Um, I'm aware that a lot of people go to different medical sources to get kind of like medicine, like pills and things like that, to revive their sexual life. And what I want to share with you today is super powerful. And I hope that with this information, you take it for the greatest, and also you take it for the greatest of improving your sexual life. We are beings that do not have just a physical body. We have a mental body, we have emotional body, we have a soul body, we have an astral body, we also have our energy, kundalini, sexual body, and beyond. Even we have the celestial body. So what is happening here? What is happening in our other bodies is always get reflected in our physical body. In many healing therapies, we always learn that what is happening in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, or even it had happened in the past, or it's going to happen in the future because of the worry and the stress, it will manifest in our body physically <clears throat> with pain and a lot of dysfunction. A body and an organ would not function properly. So now what's going on with sexual sexuality in our society is that we have lost the connection with our sexual energy. We have lost the honor, the respect, to a sexual energy, to a kundalini energy. Many men are uh, suffering from lack of erection or too instant ejaculation or they don't ejaculate at all or they have low level of testosterone. Women on the other side are not really experiencing orgasmic experiences and the physical aspect. They also, they don't want sex. They have a very low sex drive. And they're experiencing um, different abnormalities in their sexual life. They have pain when they have intercourse. How does different healing therapies could help you to improve your sexual life? It's because different healing therapies not just work with the physical body, but also we work with the energy field. Going to a coach or healer to help you to um, understand what's going on in your life and bring you back into alignment with yourself, it will help your sexual energy because you becoming more balanced in your life. And this is something that I want to share with you because all the years that I have studied this subject, it, was, it always seemed very interesting to me that nobody really paid attention to the levels and the percentage of sexual energy that is used in our in, in a wholeness. We know and we studied that um, we have a mind energy, our emotional energy, we have a physical energy, and also we have a spiritual energy. And these have like, uh, have like different kind of like a bank account, put it this way. You have your mind bank account, emotional bank account, you have your body bank account, and you have your soul bank account and other bank accounts. And we forget the sexual bank, bank account. People who really are very mental and they have a surplus of just, uh, resources in this mental field lack of emotional energy and the lack of physical energy and the lack of that spiritual integration of it. And you also have seen that people that work out a lot and they put so much in the bank account of the body, lack of that mental 
they lack also their emotion, but they also lack of their sexual and the spiritual aspect to it. So when we are now living in balance, we take energy from all the sources to contemplate the con to compensate <laughs> that bank account. So when we are now in balance with these energies, we take from one bank account to another bank account and it's totally a mess. A lot of our organs and a lot of our, our life get in disalignment. So what we can do now if we want to improve our sexual life and become in balance with our true self? The different things that you can do um, to start targeting the balance of your mental, you know, there's meditation always. You know, to balance the, the body, we always do um, right uh, body work, um, exercises that are in alignment with our body. Not everybody can do the same uh, routine of exercise as somebody else. So always be conscious about how much exercise you do a day. Always have like uh, a journal of how much uh, you how much time you're spending in each part of your body, and your mental, your emotional, your physical, and your spiritual life. Don't be too extreme at where you go all physical body or all spiritual or all sexual or all mental. Let's have an, you know, an alignment and also a balance of what we do in our daily life. So what you can do for um, improve your sexual life is where we have to start looking at the sexual energy. And how does these therapies, healing therapies, can help you? It's because a lot of these therapies, we know and we work with energy. We're not just working with the body. You know, and massage, the different uh, levels of massage, different therapies, that like cranial sacral, acupressure, acupuncture, well acupuncture is another therapy, but you can also have hydrotherapy. You have different type of modalities inside of the massage field that it will help you to bring that alignment of your sexual energy. Acupuncture, uh, you have different other modalities that you can really find amazing practitioners that work with it. Now, my advice is, if you have these problems as a man or as a woman, is start realizing is your lifestyle the one that has to change. Everything that is happening in your body, it was not created yesterday. Everything that happening, it was created in a long term. So you have to understand and be conscious that the healing process is going to take time. So that's the first clue right there. And you have to be committed to really go fully in the journey of healing the, your sexuality. One of the other things that you can start doing and transforming your life I really recommend to start getting the practice of meditation. Meditation is not just about, oh, I'm going to sit in here for like an hour, or for like 24 hours. It's about, you can meditate for five minutes. It's about quieting your mind, quieting your heart, make everything quiet. Just come to this place of just being truly quiet and start listening to your inner voice, to your inner divine being, your inner sensual fire, your inner true self. And after you start learning to meditate, do the exercises that are right for your body type. This is a lifestyle transformation. When we want to heal something, of many areas of our life, our whole life has to transform in an aspect. And I'm not saying, 
oh, from one day to next day, you truly have to change everything because that will be dramatic and drastic to your being. So you do everything one step at a time. Add meditation into your daily routine. That will help you to de-stress and to get in tune with yourself and start listening to yourself. And the most important when you start healing your sexual energy is about being in tune with your body. Start listening to your body. That's the more important thing that you start doing right now. Listening. Listen to your organs. Listen to your liver. Listen, listen to your heart. Listen to your testicles, to your ovaries. Listen to every single part of your body, what it's saying. And now you're listening through meditation, through just a quiet time. So when you start listening to your body and your body saying, hey, I like to do yoga. Let's do some yoga. Or I like to do stream work, uh, workout. Or I like to just jog or, jog. or I like to do some other kind of like exercises. Start incorporating something in your life that is going to help you in the long term. And remember, it's a journey that's going to take time because it took time to get this problem. Let's not look for instant gratification and let's not look for instant fixes like Viagra because that's a very quick, empty fix. It really is not fixing anything. It's just camouflage in the problem, making you think that everything is working out, but it's not really because going deep, deep, deep into the issue of what is really happening with your sexual energy and your sexual dysfunction or the lack of libido of the lack of like you don't feel aroused or anything like that it's because there's a deep core problem or situation that needs to be addressed and we just have to pay attention so by having that quiet time when we will listen to our body our body's going to talk to us our body's going to tell us what's going on and when we have this communication with our body, with our inner self, we're going to be able to listen and, and they're going to share, our body's going to share the cause of the problem, how we can fix it. Our body is so magnificent, so divine that it, it can heal itself when we listen in every aspect of our life, when we listen with our heart, when we listen with our mind, when we listen with a whole being. And now that you are already starting in this journey, you have to find support. Support of practitioners and healers that they are comfortable with working with this topic. And that's the only thing I always ask everyone. When you reach out to practitioners, to heal your sexual energy and your sexual life, to improve it. Come from a place of honor and respect and open communication. Come to your practitioner, your massage therapist, your acupuncture therapist, um, your cranial sacred therapy therapist, Come to the tapet with honor and respect and tell them the true purpose of your visit. It is very, very critical you come with true intentions of healing. Come to your massage therapist and explain, I have this problem, how can you help me? Your acupressure therapist and your cranial sacred therapist is going to tell you that the different ways that they can help you out. In massage, you have siastu, you have acupressure, you have trigger point, you have different modalities that can help you. They can really help you uh, to get these energies in balance. And let me tell you why. When you study energy, and as we see, we are energy beings. Our sexual energy get, runs through different meridians and uh, different energy circuits. 
And when you do body work, like a pressure, trigger point, or even re just a regular massage, or lymphatic uh, massage, lymph massage, you are triggering some of those secret where your sexual energy get replenished. So one of the things I always recommend is go, go to your practitioner with honor and respect and open and share with them this issue you have. Not every practitioner is going to be open to help you in this aspect, and I'll tell you why. Unfortunately, for massage therapists, or for cranial sacred therapists, or for other therapists, unfortunately, people come very usually, and they want integrative gratification favors, who totally ruin the whole aspect of healing, and the whole connection, and the whole uh, love a practitioner to help humanity to heal. And there's so many practitioners that they will now want to even work with anybody who come up openly and say, I want you to help me to fix my sexual problems. Because in the massage industry, men and women have been sexually harassed by people. So that's why I truly emphasize and coming from a place of honor and respect to your practitioner and share openly why you want to work with them, why you need it, because you want to improve your sexual life and they can help you. They would love to work with you when you have shown that respect and that honor. So once you have worked with your practitioner, your practitioner would take you on a journey of self-discovery and self-healing. I hope that I have answered some of your questions about how does energy healing or some different healing therapies can really help you to improve your sexual life. By honoring and respecting the practitioners, you're really going to encounter that they are going to love working with you and they're gonna feel honored to work with you to help you to heal your life. Because we all understand we are sexual beings. And when our sexuality is taken away from us because of the disbalance, we know that we're not truly happy beings. And we're gonna be looking for answers out in the outside when the answer of healing is inside of us. And besides working with a practitioner, get yourself a team that works with you in all aspects of your life. We always recommend to have your doctor, your naturopath, your chiropractor, uh, you can have your massage therapist, your acupressure, acupuncture therapist, uh, your healer, your energy healer. Reach out to all these people and have them in your meeting board. <laughs> You know, we all have this, this thing about running businesses and running life and creating projects, and we get a lot of people involved to create a project. Living our life is also a project. It's also a business. Living our life ourselves, we deserve to bring as many practitioners and experts in our life to help us to be the greatest of us, the, the greater person you are. So reach out to people and like you reaching out to lawyers and accountants and all that, when it comes to you and your health and your healing process and being in purpose of living this life at its fullest, create this meeting board with all these people that are going to help you and be truly open and truly honest and have a true intention of healing and honor every single one of them and respect every single one of them and respect the boundaries of every single one of them and respect your own boundaries. Because when we're talking about sexual healing, 
sexual energy is very, very fragile. It's very pure and beautiful and really need all the honor and all the respect to work with it. So you want everyone in your team to respect you as you respect them. And I guarantee you when you start going in that journey and everybody's going with you in that journey, you will see how your energy and your sexual life will improve. Because through meditation, quiet time, through exercise, through eating healthy, eating as much uh, healthy food and organic food you can eat, it will change your, your body, drinking the most delicious healthy water you can find, living your life at its fullest, like learning with a coach and a mentor and a healer to let go of all the situations that had kept you stuck in your life, working with spiritual people to get you in alignment with your true divine self, working with practitioners and body workers to help you to release anything out of your body or the blockages, the energy blockages that are not worthy of you anymore and your body's holding it. When you start adding all these people into your life, into your team, and when you start, you can see what's going. You can see where this is going. When you can add all these people and add all this into your life, your whole life changes. And the moment your whole life changes, your sexual energy improves, and your sexual life, it becomes magnificent. Because you have been doing the work and you have been committed to go for the whole journey. And I tell you, the journey is not going to be easy. There are going to be many obstacles and there are going to be many, many situations and people that are going to come into your life to test you into a journey of sexual healing, healing your sexual energy to become the greatest lover in your life and to become, uh, to live that great sexual life. So be committed to go all of it and take your team with you. Set that intention and go for it. Thank you so much for listening today, for coming and joining us in our talk. If you have any more questions, suggestions, please email us at support at liberatinginnerbeauty.com. Be part of our amazing, powerful, empowering community at www.liberatinginnerbeauty.com. It's a community that supports you, a community that empowers you, inspires you to break free from everything that is keeping you stuck. It's a community that truly is committed to help you grow and help you to reach the greatest of you. In 2015, we're hosting four retreats in Ecuador. Hooray! This beautiful shirt is from Ecuador. <laughs> so come and join us in an adventure, an empowering adventure and rediscover in the beautiful lands of Ecuador. For that, you can go to www.shamanicadventure.com where you will find amazing videos and pictures of an adventure. So I want to see you there, 2015. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so honored and grateful for you to watch this video. And reach out to your community and to your practitioners and start improving your sexual life from within and share with the whole entire world how are you able to heal that. Have an amazing, orgasmic, blissful day. See you next time.